Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Keystone Bullet 287 BHS. This is a great quad bunk model. You have a big super slide here with the sofa and dinette, of course, helping to open up this main living space and tied in with the quad bunks gives you a ton of sleeping space in a travel trailer. Let's start off though right over here on the kitchen. You'll see you kind of have the L-shaped kitchen here. They give you both the sink top cover as well as the recessed cooktop with the glass cover on there as well. You have the high rise faucet to make washing and rinsing dishes a little bit easier. When we take that sink top cover off, you can see this stainless steel bowl. Now bear in mind that this is cutting board quality, so if you want to use it as a cutting board, I recommend just flipping it over and using the bottom, that way all the knife marks are on the bottom here. Uh, but the great thing about having the big single bowl, of course, is the fact you can fit larger pots and pans down in there. And then right over here to this side, as I mentioned, a three burner cooktop with the glass cover. This guy just folds up and back just like so, kind of doubles as a backsplash there. You'll see the three burner cooktop. You also have the oven underneath in case you like to do some baking. Right over here to the side underneath the sink, you have uh, access to a big storage area. We'll see we have a couple different access points, this being one of them. Another one is right around here to the front. You see the big storage right up top there. And then directly underneath, you have the two drawers. So that way you have a spot for your silverware and your flatware. Then coming around to the front, you also have storage or access to that storage right up here. Again, pretty good size storage area right there. If you want, you know, you can even use that bottom as a convenient spot for shoe storage because you have pretty sufficient uh, storage for other places in the kitchen here for pots, pans, things like that. You'll see your main control panel right up top, tank monitoring panel there. Do note that your water heater runs off both LP and electric. You can turn on both those at the same time for faster recovery. Coming around to the side, storage up top, microwave here, hood with both a light and a fan. And then right over here to the side is your Dometic fridge freezer combo. This unit also runs off both propane and electric. Let's make our way back a little bit further to the bathroom. I'll open this up for you. You can see right down here is your foot flush lever toilet. I'll take a seat. I have plenty of leg room here. Uh, for the shoulders, you know, I do rub a little bit on the right. I'm fairly wide in the shoulders, but they did cut back the countertop here to give you this extra space, which is nice. You also have a little uh, cubby hole here as well as down below. So if you want to put like a small trash can down there, maybe some, you know, reading material or something here, whatever else, but they did give you that extra storage. Again, if you want the trash can right down there, you have storage underneath the sink as well. A decent sized countertop on here, so if you need to set down a hair dryer, curling iron, something like that, you can. You have the electrical outlet over to the side. And then right up top is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage in there. If we take a look over to the side, this one does have a tub shower. I'll stand in here for point of reference. I am six foot. As you can see, if I move out of the vent here, you know, it's pretty close to me uh, touching the ceiling. And if you're any taller than that, there's not a ton of room in the vent. So, you know, if you're 6'1", 6'2", chances are you're going to have to bend down a little bit. But you do have the hand wand there, of course, just to make showering up a little bit easier. So we head out of the bathroom, make our way back. You will see right over here. Open this up. This gives you good versatile storage space. So if you need additional space for the kids' clothes, you'll see we do have some in the back. But if you need more... You have the hanging rod here. You can just remove these shelves or leave the shelves there, put folded clothes in there, or use it as a pantry. And then you have the additional cubby hole right underneath. An actual pocket door here, a slider door, uh, to close off the kids' room rather than a curtain. So, you know, if you are going to be up a little bit later playing games, things like that, it just helps the sound a little bit. I mean, it's a travel trailer, so no matter what, you're going to hear things. But the door does give you just that little extra uh, feeling of privacy there. 300 pound weight capacity on the bunk so even if an adult wants to sleep in here it can handle it as far as size i'll lay down in this bottom one here just to kind of give you an idea again as i mentioned i'm six foot you see that i can sleep here you know fairly comfortably i have enough room for a pillow there so if you need some adults uh, to be able to sleep in here you want to take it out for a weekend you know a good friends weekend something like that you obviously uh you know can can house adults back here also, you have the dinette, which is fantastic, so that way if the kids want to sit back here and play a game or eat a meal, you can do that. That does drop down into a bed as well for your fourth bunk. This bunk does tilt up and out of the way and locks in place, so that way no one's hitting their head when they're sitting down in there. Right over here, we'll open this up for you. You can see you have some good storage right there. A uh, hanging rod in here as well, so if you need to hang some clothes, uh, as I mentioned, you have the, some space to do it. A little bit of storage underneath there as well. Uh, you have lights underneath the bunks, a bunch of windows in here. And if you do want TV, the TV hookups will be right up top. 
we take a look at the super slide you'll see that i did drop the dinette down into the bed so obviously it is a standard dinette can easily sit four people but i did just kind of want to show you size it's just a smidgen shorter than six foot here uh, as i mentioned if i lay down you can see my head kind of taps out right here so it's not you know super comfortable but you know it can curl up or kind of lay on an angle easy enough you know if you're taller than six foot you can probably sleep one person as i mentioned if you're shorter than that you want to you know try to fit two people there by all means you can certainly try you'll see that you have windows all the way around to let in lots of natural light and then right over here is your tri-fold sofa not only is that super comfortable to sit in but also you can pull that out into a bed and you can sleep two adults right there if we take a look up here at the uh, entertainment center You'll see that you have the TV right here in the center. Connected to that is your multimedia center. So if you want to watch a DVD, you can throw it right in there. You have a little bit of storage down below as well as some storage up top with the cool decorative glass. When you step into the bedroom, you'll see the queen bed right here in the center. And then you also have storage underneath. You'll also see there's a grill located under here. So if you want to do some grilling, I'll show you where that goes when we head outside. On both sides, you have mirrored wardrobes. You'll see the hanging rod going across there. Underneath, all the way in the back, you do have electrical outlets. So if you need to plug anything in, there's a place to do it there, but good size nightstand. And the one side, you'll also see you have a dirty clothes chute. So that way you can open that up, put a basket in your pass-through underneath, and toss the clothes right down in there. I do like the fact this manufacturer put it on the off-door side rather than on the door side because you tend to get into things less on the off-door side. You also see you do have a little bit of storage here across the top. Again, that decorative glass, couple LED lights underneath to help brighten things up. And then right at the foot of the bed, again, just like we had in the back, you have actual slider doors on here rather than curtains. And when you shut those, you will see there is a spot in which you can install a TV here in the bedroom. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Bullet 287 BHS. Right up front here, you have a power tongue jack. So makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. Simply flip the switch to raise and lower the tongue. You also see you have a light right out here for added visibility at night. Directly behind that, you have two 20 pound propane tanks here with the cover. Just flip the door up and that will give you access to both of those tanks. And then right behind that, you will see rails here for your battery. Also over to the one side, you will see this one has solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy portable panels Plug it in right there and it is all set to trickle charge your battery. Coming up the front here you have the diamond etch plating which will help protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And right above that is the front three quarter cap. You will see this one also has an LED light strip right across the top. And right here you will also note that this one has the three year structural warranty on it which is currently the best in the industry. Coming around to the side you have the pass through storage covered hinge on there so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down their door it also is magnetic and it's a slam latch so we put it up there just like so the magnet holds it up when you take a look inside you'll see it is a big pass through same size door on the other side so no matter what you put in here you can get it out on the other side as well and it is also lit in there if we drop right down below here, a couple quick things I want to talk about. One is you can see this one utilizes huck bolt frame construction. So a couple advantages to huck bolt. One is that the it's kind of been shown the number one place your frame starts to rust at is right on those weld seams. So by eliminating a lot of those weld seams, you help uh, eliminate the chance for rust to start there, or at least greatly reduce it. Also, you will see that the, uh, the huck bolts, it's easier to repair the frame. So if it does get damaged, what you can do is actually cut the bolts right off and replace an entire section rather than having to try to bend a frame back in position. So it can save a lot of money on the labor side. You'll also see this one has a fully enclosed and insulated and heated underbelly. So that way, if you are camping in a little bit cooler temps, as long as you're running the furnace inside, there is forced air down below. It's a 30K BTU furnace, so plenty of power to be able to heat up all that space underneath. You'll also see the main entry has a large foldable grab handle right here and three foldable steps. So from the very first step here, it's nice and low. So if you have you know, bad knees, it's still pretty easy to get in and out of. And the foldable grab handle will give you that extra control to help you enter and exit the RV. Large power awning on here, touch button to roll it out, same thing to go right back in, and it has an LED light strip on there for light at night. You'll also see two outside speakers here, which are connected to the multimedia center inside. That unit is Bluetooth capable, so if you want to sit right here underneath the awning, you can use your smartphone and control that multimedia center. 
If TV is more your speed, you'll see they did put a mounting uh, a backer right here for your TV, so you know exactly where to mount it at. The connections for that are over a little ways. You'll have to run the cables right over here, but you do have your cable outlet right there as well as your electrical outlet. So that way, again, you can have your TV mounted. Or if you don't want to mount it to the unit, not a problem. You can set up a little table right here and hook it up right there. Either way, but you, at least you have the hookups right there on the door side. We take a look right down below. You have beautiful aluminum alloy wheels, which are not only look great now, but they will continue to do so because aluminum doesn't rust. And it's also widespread easy lube axles. So having the widespread means it'll tow a little bit smoother. You don't get as much sway while pulling it down the road. And easy lube axles are definitely easier on the maintenance piece rather than having to constantly repack the bearings. There are some grease zerts you pump some grease into. Bear in mind, there is still a process. You need to be able to jack it up and spin the tire and some other stuff, but just do know that it is an easier process. Right over here is a black tank flush, so that way anything that doesn't get dumped out uh, via gravity in your black tank, what you can do is take a hose, you hook it up right there, that black tank has sprayers built in, and it will help wash all that stuff out so your fresh tank is smelling nice and clean for you. And then right here in the very back is the outside kitchen. My favorite part, of course, being this right here, which is the outside fridge. Just so you have a spot for your condiments, beverages, everything else. A little bit of storage right up top here for your solo cups or paper plates. You also have the cooktop. So two burner cooktop right there. If you want to do a little bit of cooking, you can pull that out. And of course, that plugs into your propane quick connect, which if we drop down, we can take a look and see the propane quick connect right here. So you can either hook up your two burner cooktop or you also have the grill right here. So you can swing the grill out and around and you can certainly use that as well. You saw a little blue coiled hose in there that plugs right into here for your spray port. So if you need water access, you know, right out here, you need to wash your hands or something like that while you're cooking, that gives you the capability to do so. Now, as you can see, you have the bumper. The bumper does have these square end caps, so you can store your sewer hose in there. I personally, you know, just because it's me, I wouldn't put it on the grill side. I'd probably store it over here, but again, it's completely up to you, but it is nicer than having it rolling around with everything up front in your pass-through. Also, your spare tire sits right back here on the bumper. The great thing about that, and hopefully, of course, you never have to use it, but if you do, this is probably the easiest place to get to it. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees or down in the mud to get your spare tire. You'll see right over here is your 30 amp detachable power cord. That's where that'll plug into. Cable inlet right over on this side. And if we make our way over around to the off door side here, you'll also see you have an outside shower with both hot and cold water access right here. Up in the very front, you will have both of your water inlets. You'll have your fresh tank fill as well as your city water inlet. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Keystone Bullet 287 BHS. If you're interested in this bunk model travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.